Hi there, Lisa Arana here, and welcome to another Assemblist video. Today's card is all about creating a beautiful and vibrant alcohol ink background and using this fabulous bold sentiment. I'm featuring the Say It Big stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. Lots of great big bold words and little complimentary sentiments as well. I've collected my supplies, which include alcohol inks, both the original and pearl, blending solution, adhesive reactive foil like deco foil, and Yupo paper. The blending solution is to help the alcohol inks move and blend together on the Yupo paper. Another option is isopropyl alcohol, just what you get in the store. I'm also using my Tim Holtz spritzer to help move and blend the inks. It hasn't been out of the box in quite a while, so I'm happy to find another use for it. But you can use a straw or any other type of um, instrument that can push the inks around. I'm starting out with some Yupo paper, just cut down to the size of a card front, and I place some alcohol inks onto the front just in drops. This is the pearl. I wanted to make sure I shook that very well. It does have some mica in it and it needs to be mixed really well. So you don't want to see any of that mica pulled up at the bottom of the bottle. And I place that down first with a little bit of blending solution. Blending solution works best with the pearl inks. I found the isopropyl alcohol didn't work as well. Though you can use it, I just prefer the, the look of the blending solution better. And then I just added in the colors that I liked with the alcohol inks and the pearl inks and just kept adding dots and blending solution and then using my spritzer as well just to kind of blend these all together. Some people like the looks of the rings. I do prefer to use the, the spritzer or a bulb instrument to kind of blend them together. I like the look that they create when they kind of um, are not separated in rings. I like the blended look of a background. So here's the, the spritzer doing its job of pushing those inks around. I kind of go in from the side or the top. And then I also add in more inks from the top and then just use that blender again to just kind of get rid of those rings. It's just a look that I prefer. Other people, like I said, do like the rings and are happy with that. At this point, I was really happy with my background, but I wanted some splatters. So I took some isopropyl alcohol, spray, or dropped some of that onto my craft mat, added a few of the alcohol inks, colors that I liked, Blended those together, picked them up with a paintbrush, and just added some splatters. I just wanted to add some more color around the edges of the, the big area of ink that I created. And then I also liked the way the alcohol ink reacted with the, the isopropyl splatters, so it created just a different effect as well. I let that sit for a little bit and dry, um, but not too long. I wanted it to stay sticky because that's what's going to pick up this foil from the deco foil that I'm laying on top and just rubbing, rubbing it over um, the alcohol ink. Any place that's a little more wet and a little stickier is going to grab that, that foil and creates kind of a marbling effect that I love. And now that I'm done with the background, just going to die cut it with a scalloped edge rectangle and then glue that directly down onto a card front that I've covered in some black cardstock. I just love that look. This background just pops against the black mat. And now that I'm happy with that, I do have my sentiment embossed on some vellum and gold, and then I'm hiding the foam adhesive behind the big bold letters and then just popping that up in the bottom corner. I also have the sentiment happy embossed on some black cardstock in white and then popping that up in the corner here as well. I just love the contrast of everything and the, all the different layers. Here is the finished card with that stunning alcohol ink background with a little bit of flex from deco foil as well. The gold embossed sentiment on vellum and the popped up happy as well. This design is so great for any occasion just by changing up that sentiment. 
I'll have all the supplies linked in the description below. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!